So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. Obviously, what we have here is a right triangle. So what do we know about this right triangle? So we know the side 11 here. We know the hypotenuse is 28. Looks like we have an X degrees and that angle there. The question says, in the triangle shown, what is the value of cosine X? All right, so we have cos X. So anytime we have a trig function mentioned for a right triangle question specifically, I'm thinking about SOHCAHTOA, right, which is our acronym to let us know how the ratios work for trigonometric functions. Uh, the cosine region of that is the CAH here, and it's basically telling us that the cosine of X degrees is equal to that A, which stands for adjacent, right? So the adjacent side of the X degree angle divided by the H here, which is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So for short, I put ADJ for adjacent in the numerator, and for short, I put HYP for hypotenuse in the denominator. So again, focusing our attention on angle X, what is the adjacent side? Well, it's the side right next to it, okay? That's not the hypotenuse. Uh, so the side next to it that's not the hypotenuse is 11. And the hypotenuse is 28. The hypotenuse is always the longest side of a right triangle. It's always opposite of the 90 degree angle, right? So we're never, we're, we'll never uh, mix that up with being uh, adjacent side or opposite side. So very simple, very straightforward. Cosine X is therefore equal to the adjacent, which is 11, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 28. And there's our answer. We can just literally bubble in 11 over 28. That's how I would do it. You can make it a decimal if you'd like, but why, why do all that? This is the fastest and most, and like the easiest way to solve it. 11 divided by 28. 